All right, let's try to make a background. So what we want to do, I'll just use the scroll wheel here and it is working. I've got key cast uh, uh, functioning so you can see whenever I click a key, hopefully it's going to show up in the bottom there. I'll try to, bottom right, I'll try to also say what key I'm pressing in case that's helpful. So you can see as I scroll in and out, we see the stage area and that's the area that's actually rendered. So if we draw anything outside of that, that's not going to show up in the render. Hit F12 to render and we see we don't see that shape. If I draw a similar shape out here, okay, uh, that is going to be rendered. This is not going to be rendered. So again, we'll just do a quick render on that F12 and that, uh, that's going to become important in just a few minutes. Hit Control Z a couple times. We're going to undo all that. And I'm going to actually start with a new layer. So we'll click the plus sign. I'm going to call it background, double click it. We, we don't have to do this, but I think it's just going to make things a little more organized if we do. I'm going to move that layer down. That doesn't really matter for now, but that might matter later on if we want things to sit on top of the background, which is the most likely scenario. Okay, a couple other setup things I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to just bring the strength up full. I'm going to turn that off. So now if we draw, it's full strength. I'll undo that. I'm also going to go into stroke, and I'm going to go stabilize stroke and bring these numbers way down. Maybe 11 is good. Uh, just, so we just have a tiny bit of stabilization when I draw. Uh, that's going to be about right for the, the background that we're drawing. You can adjust it to whatever you like. Okay, last thing I'm going to do is instead of solid stroke, I'm going to go solid fill. And now we should have this set up the way we, we want. So it's quite neat. Oh, wow, we do have a little problem though. And the problem is the color that's showing here is green, but it's drawing in gray. And, and the easy fix for this, I'm going to undo that is we'll go up here and we'll click on color attribute. So we'll put that in color attribute mode and then whatever color we select here, that's the color of the shape that we draw. Okay, so there's actually three ways to draw. The first way is we go solid stroke. We can draw maybe a circle, for example. We can also go uh, solid fill. Okay, and you notice I selected the fill there. Double click and we've got our fill. I did need to change the color and I'm going to undo those. The third way is the way I just demonstrated where we use the pencil but we use a combination of both where we use solid fill with the pencil and now we draw an outline and it fills it in and that's what we're going to be using today for the background. Okay let's get an image loaded so we're going to go object mode we're going to go add image background uh, hopefully I've downloaded one already we'll go to my downloads folder there it is and with that selected, I'll hit the N key, which brings up the side menu. And I'm going to scale this in the X direction so that it uh, fully fills the stage area. Okay, I'll hit N again. We don't need that menu anymore. And let's, uh, let's start drawing. And the first, oh, actually, first thing we're going to need to do, though, is maybe look at some of the properties of this image. And we'll come back to this in a second. So if I go down here and click uh, Object Data Properties, we can see that we can have the image in the front or the back and it doesn't seem to make any dim uh, any difference right now but that is going to make a difference in a few minutes. Let's go back and click on stroke. Let's go back here now to uh, to draw mode and by the way if we're on our background image on that empty layer it won't allow us to go into draw mode. We have to select the layer that we want to work on and in this case it's the the stroke or the draw layer. Now we can go into draw mode over here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to actually do um, is in, rather than use a color and draw a shape, which we could do, uh, what I'm going to do instead is go like this and hover over the color and hit the E key and an eyedropper magically appears. That's going to be critical and really help us out here and speed up color selection. Click anywhere in the image. I've got that already selected. And for my first layer, I'm going to use the rectangle and simply draw it like that. Uh, you need to hit enter and all that does now is complete the the shape that we've traced over. It's the same for circles as well too and we'll see that when we draw the sun. Now you might be thinking that doesn't look anything like what we just had there and that's because every time we draw another with another shape or another color it supersedes the previous and it's going to make more sense as I move on. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go back to object mode I'm going to go back to that image background layer and I'm going to set it to the front. Now there's a couple of downsides to this. You can see that we can no longer see what we drew. It's in the background. The image, the background image that we're tracing over top of is in the foreground. It means that it's going to be easy for us to trace over top 
but we're not going to see what we drew, what we actually drew. The only way to do that will be to temporarily disable the image so we can have a look and see how our progress is doing. And right now it's not looking very good. Okay, so next thing we do is click on stroke. Then we're going to go to object mode and select draw mode. And now we select a pencil. Uh, we have solid fill selected, which is good. We hover over here, hit the E key and select the next color. And now we can just start drawing. And remember, if we go out of the stage area, it doesn't matter because that, that part's not going to be rendered. So we don't need to draw too accurately. We just need to make sure that we fill in everything. Hover over the area, hit the E key, draw the next layer. And this is actually going to go surprisingly quickly once we get to this point. Okay, if we want to see our progress, we just click the eye up here next to the empty, and you can see it's coming along quite nicely. Hover over, hit the E key, draw the next layer. It's going to be this one, and it doesn't actually go all the way to the end, which is perfectly fine. Trace down and over. Hover, E key, next. And you can see why we have to draw this one after the previous one because, again, it, this appears to sit in front of that one. Not too many left to go. This is going pretty quickly. You can move, each time you draw a shape, you can actually move it in the hierarchy, move it up or down. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do. We have to go into edit mode to do that. But uh, if we draw it properly, we're not going to need to do that. E key once again, tracing the shape. And after this layer, we're going to go and have a look to see how things are progressing. I think it's coming along quite nicely. Yeah, okay, you can see my drawing's not perfect, but close enough. Hover, E key, just a couple more to go. Trace over top. This technique will work not only, of course, for backgrounds, this will work for any kind of drawing. Uh, it's just yet another way that you can create some sort of complex drawings very quickly. Okay, we're actually finished the background. That's all it took. The only thing we don't have is the sun in there, and I think that looks pretty good. Um, we can get rid of the sun. We don't even need Oh, actually, we do need it because we want to get the color. If you want to match that color, we need the sun. Now we can hide it. It's gone. Uh, we'll select a circle, draw tool, trace over top. Get about the size, shape, and position that we want. Hit the Enter button, and we are done. I did mention that we can change the location of these, and to do that, all you do is go into Edit Mode, and if we select an object, uh, we should actually, if I select an individual object, I can actually move it. Um, so if I were to right click, or if I were to, let's see, yeah, we'll right click and we'll go arrange, we could send this backwards. And if we did that, it's probably going to disappear. It's going to be sitting behind this layer, so we don't really want to do that. Uh, but we could do that with any of these layers, move them in front or behind of the, of the ones that are nearby. So if you do make a mistake, there is a possibility to bring one up to the front. And again, that's in edit mode. Uh, we could even do uh, a, a motion here where we go to, I don't know, the 40th frame, and we grab G key, the sun, move it over here. And um, we could, I don't know, we could then actually have a, a, a set up an, a tween so that we have some motion. I'm not going to go through that right now. That's a, a different tutorial. Um, but that hopefully gets you started with how to draw a background layer. And that's it for now. Over and out. Oh, by the way, I should mention if I render this, you can see it gives us the background that we want. Okay. Uh, because it, it is limited to that rectangle, which design, designates the stage area or the rendered area. Okay. That's it now. Over and out.